What's up everybody? Happy Monday morning. Before we get started, I just want to give a shout out to the winner of Miss Universe, which is Miss South Africa. She is definitely beautiful and I just want to say congratulations to her. So now, where's all of my gem stars? What's up everybody? It's your girl Brie Easy, aka Fresh from the Salon, BKA the People's Champion. So today we have a couple of news for you. So the first news is uh let's start with the the silliest thing ever so apparently uh walmart has been selling a shirt on their site of the snowman doing snow did they call it snow i don't know anyway it's cocaine walmart talking about they had no idea that it was even on their site because it was being sold through a third party seller walmart you knew you knew like you have to approve these things so you you knew this was being sold on it's like, and this ain't the first time that something like this has happened. So, moving on to the second news. So, apparently, the Patriots feel like they got robbed last night. Now, maybe they did get robbed oh, last night. Oh, they definitely night. got robbed. Maybe they did. Okay? Like but. My team is I, trash, so I like it. But, you know, I'm tired of seeing them in the Super Bowl anyway. And two, they've been the beneficiary of so many wins that shouldn't have happened. Are you talking about a rule that they brought back from the doldrums of the beginning of the NFL before they even started throwing the ball to protect them and start their whole damn dynasty? That one. Huh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, hey, get, 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 get over it. Uh, um, get over it, uh, my guy. Yeah. You know, number 24. You know who you are. Yeah. You don't know who number 24 was? I, I don't. I don't. Oh, you're the Heisman Trophy winner. Come on. Come on. You know who it is. You don't keep on going. Okay, so yeah, so if if you are a Patriots fan, I'm sorry, but not sorry. Okay, because I'm a Steelers fan, so that's that. So moving on. Raise the damn tuck rule for him. Yeah, so uh, so moving on. So Kenny Smith says that James Harden will not be one of the greatest Rockets until he wins a ring. So the question of the day is. Who is the greatest Rockets player of all time? I mean, Hakeem Olajuwon and who else could be the greatest? Drop it down below who you think in the comments. I mean, we got Joel Embiid's daddy, Hakeem Olajuwon, or James Harden. I don't know. I mean, it's going to well, be Oh, look, look at that. What are those? That oh, my so. goodness. That tastes, what are those? I what was he thinking? Like, I ain't got no hair on my head, but I'll just keep the sideburns. I mean, should the sideburns be connected to either a beard or I mean, to the hair? Connected to something. What is got that? connected to nothing, bro. Shaq, uh, what is you doing? And by the way, it was Charles Woodson. Charles was Woodson was, oh, was playing for the Steelers. Uh, no. No, no, that's no, not him. Rod. Rod, Rod was a, okay. The Steelers. Yeah, Charles played. I get the womp womp on that one. That was a tuck woo. But anyway. Is it who, who like is James Harden the gonna be? I mean, is Kenny Smith right? Because I think that Akeem Olajuwon is not only one of the best centers of all time, but he's. I, I Do mean, you have to win a ring to be considered one of the greatest players? Yeah, on that team, yeah, Akeem got two, so, and mm -hmm. he beat Shaq and Patrick Ewing. He beat two of the best. Well, two of what history will believe, will re recall mm -hmm. as the best centers of all time. He beat Shaq and he beat uh, Pat Ewing. So it's going to be hard to get in front of a king. But who y'all got? Yeah, best drop it down below in the time. comments. Yes. Yes. Drop it down in the, com uh, in the comments. And don't forget to hit that like button. Now on to NBA 2K News. Yeah. Hey, get out of my seat. Man. Hey, that's a good yeah. exit, isn't it? Yeah, it is a good exit. Get out of my seat. Oh. Hey, but check it out, though, man. Let me ask you. Let me tell y'all this, brother. What I don't want to see for the best rocket of all time Look here. So, like I said, we got Joel Embiid's daddy, Akeem Olajuwon, and then we got James Harden. Akeem Olajuwon, James Harden. Govern yourselves accordingly. Let me know who you think is the best rocket of all time. Uh, right now, I, I just can't think of anybody else right now. Don't nobody be no damn troll and say Robert Ory. Please. Please don't be a troll. <laughs> oh, I got one. I got one. Who you got? Robert Ory. Oh, my God. Get out of here. Anyway. On to the NBA 2K news, man. Hey, we don't got a lot of news, but this, this video will definitely be on the 12 minutes. Appreciate Bridget. Hey, shout out to everybody for my birthday wishes on yesterday. If you didn't watch the video, go back and watch the video. Leave a like on the video. It, it just promotes some good family vibes and stuff like that, man. I really appreciate you guys um, coming through, uh, showing love, and just 
just showing me some love on, on a video that's not that. I know I said I'm gonna try to do these 60 videos tonight. I mean, not tonight, uh, in the month. And it's gonna be tough, man. It's, it's gonna be real tough. But anyway, let's just get right into the news, man. Hey, check it out. There is a new badge glitch that is going around. This says, I can't change my speed back. Help me, please. I tried going to settings, but it won't change. Listen to me. I keep telling y'all this. Anytime you do a glitch, there is a chance that you will not have the game in the way that you previously had it. The new glitch out there entails you going, you can, you can search it on, on here or whatever. The new glitch includes you going into my career. I mean, going into my career, playing the two play, the two K player, the two the, the, the my player nation. You have to play my player nation. You're speeding up your game speed, getting all the stats that you can, and then you know they're fast forwarding through a whole season, doing all this stuff, so you can play the my player nation game over and over. This is what the new badge glitch entails. But as a byproduct, your game speed is going to stick at 100%. I don't know why it happens. I don't know, you know, what what goes on. I can guess how you might be able to fix it. One way to fix it would be, like people tell you all the time, upload your game, all of your game saved file, save your game saved files. And then once you get finished doing the glitch, if, you, if you're going to glitch, if you're gonna do it, download those game save and config files, and you should be back good to go. I've never done a glitch. I'm never going to do it, but I'm just guessing that if this saves something into the save file, if you, before doing the glitch, like people recommend all the time, just back your stuff up, put it on a USB, back it up into the cloud, do whatever you're going to do, because you're going to cheat anyway. So if you're going to cheat, at least be smart about it. So upload it to the cloud, do the little glitch, get your all your badge points, and then download all those files back, and then when it syncs, you should be back. But if you didn't save your stuff before before engaging in high risk activity, I ain't got nothing for you, my boy. You got you got what you got, and I don't even know if this is something that 2K is going to fix or will be willing to fix or any of that stuff. Maybe when they patch this glitch, uh, they will fix it. Which, like I said, it's just a badge glitch. Nobody don't care about no badge glitch. If there was VC attached to it, you damn right it would be fixed immediately. But it's just a hey, how y'all look. I'm, I'm, I got my little college shirt on, looking all professional and all this stuff today. We're gonna change the background tomorrow and all that. But anyway, if you're gonna do a glitch, man, just back your characters up, man. Like especially if you're doing one of them Holmesy glitch, bro. Your boy Holmesy think he think he is the slickest of all time. So you know, last time we busted him, uh. You know, this, this is a segue, right? Look, last time we busted him trying to do a glitch and say that it was a legitimate glitch, and the way that we busted him last time, let me let me let me jump over here and show y'all that this is the fakest glitch that you ever want to see in your entire life. Look, all right, so check it out. <laughs> this ain't the, this ain't the glitch. It's just always entertaining. Look at this right here. So check it out. He comes here. He says, you know, it's the same thing. He it's always the same thing every time with him, right? Do you see this right here? Look at this. Look under look under the bottom of the video. I'm I'm, I'm in the way and I'm gonna take myself out of the video real quick and y'all gonna see what I'm talking about. Y'all see, y'all see this right here? Right here. He's saying, you know, you gotta do your thing and all of that stuff. Do you see right here where it says, you know, the jump shot, blah, 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 choose your jump shot all that he says you go through all of this stuff do all this stuff back your player up blah 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 he done made an offensive threat yakety schmackety and then look when he says he's gonna go to your badges right it doesn't animate properly but look at this bro 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 look at this somebody look at it do you see this right here can you see that at the bottom of the screen can I, if i make it if i blow it up can y'all see that I don't think you can see it if I blow it up. But you can see that this, that there's discoloration around the back button, right? So you can, and you can actually see the, the little area right here where he, where he artificially put it in there. Like, bro, so we busted him last time. And then now look at the bottom of the video, right? You see this little white area right here at the bottom of the video? You see it? If you gonna try to cheat, bro, at least try to do it, right? At least make a convincing 
look like this whole little area right here he he copied it out and then he put it back on top of it to try to make the, the, the glitch look legit and it's like bro you get you gotta stop man i'm not i'm not nobody for exposing glitches and doing all this stuff man that's not my style that's not my thing but it's just like i looked back at it and i was like bro how did he do it this time and then he's like yeah it's not gonna say you earned the badges blah 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 this is that bro it's gonna say you didn't earn the badges but you just gonna have them because you didn't anyway we, we ain't got time for that dude that dude man it is what it is speaking of visa but like i said beware of the badge glitches and if you try one of those one of those glitches that Holmesy tries to tell you to do that are clearly fake make sure you back up your damn character because you're gonna get your character deleted and then you're just gonna be looking stupid and then 2k gonna be like what happened and they're gonna be like let me watch the Holmesy video don't bro just just don't do it anyway more vc is this where they gonna get up out of here check this out man nba 2k they got a new bundle man 2k 20 uh vc bundle you get uh 75 vc for 20 bucks um you get uh and you get all this other stuff man uh you can be a book you can get your book bag and perpetrate like you are like you nice like that uh you can get you a santa hat and uh you know a book bag so you can perpetrate like you nice like that and then an ugly sweater but most people are probably gonna buy this just for the book bag. The book bags are free right now. I'm telling y'all, people were grinding. I don't know if it was, is it Superstar? Superstar, whatever, whatever it is. Where, where you get your book bag at? I don't know. T-Mizzle will tell me down in the comment. I think it's Superstar 1, Superstar 2 or something. I, I, I forgot. But people are perpetrating like they good or they nice like that or they didn't put in the grind with those book bags. And uh, I think a lot of people are gonna buy this bundle just because it comes with the book bag and people will think that you're better than what you are and take you. But I don't understand it though, man, because like you can get book bags now. Like there was only one way to get a book bag and people are afraid of book bags. And now all of a sudden nobody's afraid of them anymore. But more. I guess it just depends on what type of book bag you got on a backpack or whatever they want to call it. But it's just weird to me. That's weird. Like I, I, ain't, I, I, I never wore one because people just run from them anyway. But and I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not up there to be able to get it anyway either. But I'm just saying, like people just run from it anyway. When T. Mizzle put his on, when Mad Dog put his on, we can't even get games. So they have to put their shirts on, put on a come up hoodie, and all that stuff to make people think that they trash. But it just is what it is. Like, how do y'all feel about that? When it was, when you had to grind for the backpack, I think a lot of people liked it, and then now it takes some of the esteem away from it because you can just get them for free, even though they do. They, they are obviously not the free ones. I mean, you know, they're not the ones that you get from grinding, but y'all get exactly what I'm saying, man. Anyway, uh, on to the last thing, man. Michael, why are you messing with the sliders again? Do you think that we don't understand or we don't realize? We play this game borderline too much, my guy. Why are you messing with the sliders yet again? Why are you messing with the sliders, bro? Right now, what's going on is shots that should be green, they're not green, Michael. They're still, they're just, they're just staying white. It looks like what they did, chat with guys, is that they turned up the frequency of, of greens not turning green. So the frequency of you hitting full whites. It seems like you're hitting more full whites, but what they're really doing is they're just not letting them turn green. And what they're doing, the reason that they're doing this is so that in about two weeks, they're gonna turn the frequency of full whites going in to the roof. It's gonna be to the ceiling. They're gonna tear the roof off with it when these Christmas news comes out because they want people to jump in the game, get in the game, play the game. They got a lot of new people playing the game right now and people can't deal with the little skill gap that there is in the game. I feel like this is one of the biggest skill gaps in a while if you're not exploiting the behind the back or whatever, but especially the beginning of the game it was, but like right now, like they're just letting everybody hit everything in two weeks is gonna be ridiculous. You're gonna be able to shoot with your eyes closed. You're literally gonna be able to do like this. You're literally gonna be able to do it like that and um and play the game, man. And and, and the reason that it's gonna be is because they want Christmas noobs to play the game, feel like they're good, get some progression and stay in the game. And don't let it be a Puma Mania event during, you know, right after Christmas. It's gonna go crazy. But you know, it is what it is, man. I just feel, I really feel like that it, it's, this is something that's just, that's just crazy. Like you don't have to let people get good at the game. Don't make them feel like they're good, but 2K can't create real, skill gap any more than they can create real balance like in the game there's always artificial difficulty a, a, a way that they always do artificial difficulty you're playing the game you get 10 points or 10 stats of anything four points and six assists six points four assists 10 stats two rebounds five points and uh and 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 three assists whatever 10 stats they start doubling you immediately 
instead of doubling you when you come across half court, they wait till you bring up the screen and try to run plays and then double you knowing that you can't pass the ball. And then when you do try to pass it, you throw the ball away because that's the way that the game is designed. The double team never comes really before you start calling the play and all that stuff when you try to go to the corner and do the, you know, the jump shot cheese. It is what it is. But the fact that they bring the double team and everybody on the game has Trapper, even though they don't got it, they, they have it. And then you try to pass the ball to the open man, they don't allow you to pass the ball to the open man, you throw the ball out of bounds. That's simulated difficulty. That's artificial difficulty. Rather than just making it be an aggressive trap and hiding the person you know what I'm saying? Making me make me look for the person. If if I can't pass the ball to that person in time, then maybe I do throw it away. But what NBA player is gonna throw the ball away? Anyway, man, like I said, they've always done stuff like that. They've always sim simulated difficulty, and uh, they've always failed at that part of simulating difficulty. But there's only much, so much you can do really with bots and uh, stuff like that. But uh, it is what it is, man. Like I said, uh, last but not least, well, I guess we we were gonna have some time for some NBA scores, man. But hey, LeBron James and and um, LeBron James and Anthony Davis went stupid last night. Uh, as the as, they went stupid as the Lakers beat the Timberwolves um, last night, and they combined for 82 points. I think this is the highest in Laker history as they blasted the uh, the Minnesota Timberwolves uh, 120, 125 to 142. In other scores, we have uh, the Nuggets, the Nuggets, and oh, I'm sorry, this was no, 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 hold on. Let me click on the right stuff. I'm sorry. All right. The Nets over the Nuggets, uh, 105 to 102. Uh, the Joker had 24 points, 11 rebounds, 6 assists. Spencer Dinwiddie, a big 24 points, 4 rebounds, and 8 assists. The Hawks over the Hornets. Yes, my guy, Trey Young, Mr. Apples and Oranges, 30 points, 6 rebounds, 9 assists. And uh, Washington with 20 points, 8 rebounds, 3 assists. The Clippers over the Wizards, 135 to 119. Kawhi, because I said so, Leonard, uh, with uh, 34 points, 11 rebounds, five assists, and Bertrand's, Burton's, 25 points, three rebounds, two assists. Raptors lose to the Philadelphia 76ers. Kyle Lowry with 20, 26.6 rebounds and five assists in a losing effort. Um, and uh, Tobias Harris. Bias Harris, 26.6 rebounds, three assists. The Bulls lose to the Miami Heat. Laurie Marketing, 22.7 rebounds and two assists, while uh, Tyler Hero, 27 points, six rebounds, three assists. And uh, let me see, we got the Thunder over the Trailblazers in the get back game uh, with, with Chris Chris Paul, you know, with all that stuff. Anyway, uh, Alex, uh, Jilly, I can't even, I can never say. Shy, Gill Shy Gillius Alexander, 21 points, nine rebounds, three assists. Damian Lillard, uh, six, uh, 26 points, three rebounds, seven assists. And the Kings over the Mavs as Luka Donitz finally goes down. Uh, we got, uh, I can't even say his name, man. Jalika, th uh, 30 points, seven rebounds, uh, and four assists. Tim Hardaway Jr., 29 points, one rebound, and two assists. Even though Luka Doncic had 30 points last night, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not, oh, okay, 27 points, seven rebounds, and uh, how many ass is did he have? Eight assists. He still had a magnificent game, but the pushing God has to bring up the rear. If they're going to make, if they're going to do better and make more, uh, get more buckets and do stuff like that, Porsching has got to bring it up, man. He got to step up his game. Those three lead dogs, you got to have uh, Luka Doncic, Tim Hardaway Jr., and Porsching. They all three have to be over 20 points in order for them to, to win games and continue to be uh, competitive. And uh, that's just that's just what I think, man. They got to play better defense, too. But they play really good defense. I'm not going to lie to you. I think they just ran into a buzzsaw last night. And, uh, you know, it just is what it is. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Anyway, I got to get up out of here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, once more, One more time, best rocket of all time to this point. Uh, Joel Embiid's daddy, uh, you know, Hakeem Olajuwon or James Harden. The Shaq daddy. <laughs> oh, my bad. <laughs> anyway, Hakeem Olajuwon or James Harden. Y'all let me know. And the snowman, look at it. They really let this shirt in the store, this ugly, this ugly sweater. I can't believe it, Walmart. But that's what y'all get. You better issue an apology paying people damn five dollars an hour and teaching them how to damn apply for or for for financial aid from the government instead of just paying them more. Shame on you, Walmart. And I'm out. Peace. God speak.